All right, so you need to drill a large hole in stainless steel. You have a problem because if you use a conventional hole saw bit like this here, this is exactly what's going to happen. Uh, number one, I had to actually use a carbide bit to go ahead and get that first pilot hole drilled out and then to prove that the uh, that this system right here did not work, that the, the actual hole saw itself did not work, um, that's what happened. Now you know this is stainless steel because um, the, it stopped the drill bit, number one, and two, it, you can see how it just flattened all these teeth way down. I mean, they're just completely flattened out. Uh, that's what stainless steel is going to do to your conventional um, drill bits like that. I got another one right here. Here's a one inch hole saw. First encounter with stainless steel. This is what's going to happen. You're going to have flattened off teeth and a whole bunch of frustration and you're going to be wondering what are you going to do next. Well, there is a video out where um, somebody uses a uh, bit like this to go ahead and drill through there. Uh, one of these step bits, basically it just steps down each size and that did seem to work pretty well and we'll go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to get some lubrication for cutting this. Getting there, at least it's going. much more and more of this so we're almost there and as soon as that one fits in then we'll be at one inch there we go now that fits right. now this is a very very good very expensive very high quality step bit um, this is one from Champion, and this thing is, is awesome. You're going to be lucky to find something of this quality at your hardware store. Um, so the other option, and the main reason that I'm trying to say, the, the main advantage to hole saws is exactly right here. We're not removing all of that material into these tiny little flakes, okay? We're not going to be doing that. We're actually going to be cutting much, much less material in the process, therefore, it will cut much faster because the hole saw is going to cut around. So we're going to load this up with some cutting fluid just like we did that one. <clears throat> and we're going to keep a nice low RPM. I don't have to spin it to get it down at first. actually going to set the brake to brake on this when I pop through. So that's what that was. Okay, so now we're going to go back to drill mode. Just 
just like butter. And the plug got ejected from this automatic spring ejection system. Uh, so this hole is much, much cleaner. Um, it's almost like it's a regular machine hole in there. And that was 10 times easier and 10 times faster. Remember, this is with a hand drill. Uh, if you have a drill press, you're going to have the, the added leverage and, and you're going to have some more things on your side uh, than just this right here. So we'll clean this up, get a little bit of hand cream on there and see the difference in these two holes. So you can see right there that that 